I'm Starborn. Remember, to be a star, you have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness, because that's when stars shine brightest. If you've been looking at our website, starborninstitute.org, you'd already know that the title of tonight's show is Shifting Positions. And that is because the planets in the heavens have been doing a little shifting and moving around, and they are more spread out now than they used to be. And so the sun has actually gone into Gemini and it is joining Mercury there. Mercury is the ruler of Gemini, it's very strong. And Gemini rules uh, communication and easy transitional change. So this week is going to be an optimum time for you to consider changing positions about something. For instance, somebody who had been a victim of something could decide to go from defending themselves to maybe going on the offense and trying to correct an injustice instead. Or they, someone else may want to expose something that had been going on, a covert activity, for instance, that has been hidden behind the scenes. Or it might be that you want to re-examine or review some sort of educational policy or perhaps some sort of judicial finding. In fact, there even could be the revelation of a cover-up that was covering up something else. In other words, a cover-up of a cover-up. I know that sounds a little strange, but that just might we might discover that as we go along. And the reason why these things can be happening is, of course, because of money. And that is because although there are no planets in the air signs to support the Sun and Mercury in Gemini, there are a lot of planets in the practical, hardworking Earth signs. So Uranus and Venus are in Taurus, a fixed financial sign, and they are trining Saturn, Pluto, and the Moon in Capricorn today, and those five planets are trining the sign of Virgo. Now Saturn and Pluto are retrograde or going backward, so they're a little bit weaker. But still, there is quite an emphasis on money, on making money for one reason or another. And it can be that as we learn more information or as we decide to review and re-examine some things, we may understand that there could have been some people around that were um, being paid a great deal of money to mislead us or to present a situation that was far different than what it actually was. And so, you know, as since there are three retrograde planets, we are going to be learning more and more truth that will be coming out. And by July, there will be five retrograde planets. And that means there's a whole lot of information that's going to come out. And the more information that comes out, the more likely we are to sort of shift positions or change our minds or change our attitude, even if it's just a little bit, depending on what we learn which is good. It means that we can, be, uh, we can be better informed and able to make better decisions. And in fact, when the actions of people that have been hiding things are finally revealed, which is coming up, they could face a tremendous angry backlash. And the reason why is that Mars is in Cancer, a sign that rules our emotions and our feelings. It also rules our home and residential real estate, and it rules our country. But Mars is an aggressive planet, and it does rule anger. And it is harshly opposing that Saturn, Pluto, and the Moon today in Capricorn. Now, Mars is a malefic planet, and so is Saturn, and they're going head to head. That means that there could be some real disagreements coming out in the open, or there could even be some scandals about leaders in, that are high up in groups or large corporations or in government agencies. And that is why we can be shifting positions as we learn a little bit more about their behavior behind the scenes. And they can be facing this angry backlash from Mars in Cancer opposing Saturn. But Mars is also opposing Pluto in Capricorn. 
And Mars and Pluto are the rulers of Scorpio, another fixed financial sign. So there could be a real big financial penalty to be paid by people who had not been exactly doing the right thing. And now they can be caught in their own trap. So they could be facing some sort of severe recrimination. And that could come in the guise of uh, budget cuts, or it could be uh, policy changes that are the result of learning about their activities, or it can be that there can even be some criminal prosecutions as more and more information comes to light that can inform us and help us shift positions right now. But at the same time, even though that Sun and Mercury in Gemini are not being supported by other planets in Libra or Aquarius, the air signs, they do still have a lot of support. And that is because the Sun and Mercury in Gemini are being sextiled by that Mars in Cancer on one side, but they're also being beautifully sextiled by Venus and Uranus in Taurus right behind them on the other side. So these five planets in harmonious sextile to each other indicate that any attitude shift or any change in position that you have about anything can be well supported by men and women and even young people right now. Gemini rules youth. And it, it seems to be, the net effect of all of that seems to be that regardless of how much you shift a position or change an attitude, what's really important is that the timing is right. The timing is perfect for you to think about something a little bit more or get better informed or shift your position in a way that can enlighten you and uh, bring you greater happiness. And it could be very easy for you to do that, particularly if we get a little bit more information about things. All right, what does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? Well, Aries, for you, it can be that you can be <clears throat> plagued by some situation that can cost you a little money now, Aries. And the reason why is that your sun in your sign is being squared by that Mars in Cancer. So there may be a home or a family or a real estate matter that could be a little contentious right now. And it doesn't mean that you're causing it, but you might have to react to it. And so you may have to shift your position in one way or another. And then the moon, Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn are also all squaring your sun sign right now. And since Mars and Pluto rule a fixed financial sign and Mars and Saturn are malefic planets going head to head, I would say you need to probably shift your position or your attitude about something right now, Aries, for your own safety. Or because it could be the least expensive thing you could do. So if there are higher costs, I wouldn't argue about them. I don't think you'll win an argument like that. And if there is some sort of family or real estate matter or a business matter that is not going to your liking, I hope that you sort of review things and get more information and then ask yourself if you can't alter your attitude a little bit just in order to prevent trouble or to prevent stress in your life. That might be a good idea. Okay, what does it mean to a Taurus? Well, Taurus, this is a time when I think that it is going to be to your advantage to at least consider shifting your position a little bit because that sun and Mercury in Gemini are right ahead of your sun sign. And Venus, your own ruler, and Uranus in your sign are trining the moon, Saturn, and Pluto today in Capricorn. So you may really have your mind on long-term goals and on security and on your retirement and also on working harder. But because Venus is in your sign as well, you might be thinking about how to spend some pretty good money right now. And I just think that you ought to get more facts. And, and you'd better understand that a lot of people, men, women, and even younger people, are somewhat ready to change positions 
or to shift their attitudes in one way or another. So it is very likely that you should sort of go along with that, Taurus. Now yours is a fixed sign and fixed signs do not like to budge. But why don't you consider that right now? Sort of meet somebody halfway if you can. I think that it would really make them and you much happier. Okay, what does it mean to a Gemini? Well, Gemini, the Sun and Mercury, your own ruler, are conjuncting each other, and that conjunction makes them both stronger. And they are being beautifully sextiled by Mars in Cancer on one side and Venus and Uranus in Taurus on the other side. And so I think that this is a wonderful time when men, women, and young people can favor some sort of shifting position or change in attitude because the timing is right, because they're, they're sort of ready to listen, and that's probably because you're ready to listen too. So since your sign rules buying and selling, and it rules the middleman, and it rules easy, short, a communication or short forms of learning like training seminars or community colleges or even short journeys, I think all of that is highly favored for you as long as you too are, are sort of ready to sort of give an inch right now in one way or another, Gemini, and I think you are. Your, your sign rules flexibility and the timing is good for a lot of people to consider being more flexible. So I think that you're walking into a pretty good week, not because you have support from the other air signs, there aren't any planets in them, but because you have the opportunity to shift a little bit now and probably still get what you want and, and probably work with others to help them get what they want as well. So that is why I think you're going to have a pretty good week because your willingness to be flexible is going to make a rather large difference for a lot of people right now. So good luck. Okay, what does it mean to a Cancer? Well, Cancer, this is a time when <clears throat> I don't think that you are willing to sit back and sort of take it anymore. In fact, with Mars in your sign opposing Saturn, Pluto, and the Moon, your own ruler in Capricorn, you may decide that, gee, you are going to shift position. You are going to go from defense to offense, and you are probably going to encounter somebody that has a grudge or has um, the idea that they should be able to get what they want regardless of what you say. And I would, I would tend to think that they're wrong on that and so would you. And the reason why is that Mars in your sign is being beautifully trined by Neptune in Pisces. And that simply means that you probably know a lot about what has been hidden and going on behind the scenes. And it may be that you have decided you've had it and you are going to expose people. Uh, you're gonna expose them for what they've been doing or you're gonna expose the truth. And if you have been the victim of their actions, you could be deciding that enough is enough and you're going to clear the air. And I would say that you ought to do that, Cancer. I mean, uh, you can't be a victim forever. And you really have to sort of call it the way you see it right now. However, you do have to watch your back a little bit. And that is because Mars is in Gemini, or, or Mars is in your sign. And it, it can make you sort of overreact to things. So think carefully of what your plan is before you go ahead with it, Cancer, because this is a time when uh, you, can, you can succeed, but I think it's that you have sort of had it with something and you're right, and that you ought to do something about it based on what you know about things going on behind the scenes, so good luck. Okay, what does it mean to a Leo? Well, Leo, this is a time when a lot of people are going to figure, okay, I can, I can ease up a little bit. I can change my mind. I can give an inch. And so I would like to suggest that you do the same, Leo. And the reason why is that there's only one planet in a fire sign right now, and that's Saturn in Sagittarius, which is trining your sun, but that Saturn is retrograde. That means that some, there has to be some re-examination of educational policies or of some judicial findings. And when the truth, when more truth comes out about them, it can be that the time is right for a lot of people to change their positions or change their minds. But yours is a fixed sign. 
thick signs don't like to change their mind on anything. In fact, most thick signs have the attitude, it's going to be all or nothing. And what I'm saying is, don't have that attitude, Leo. And the reason why is that you risk ending up with nothing. And that is not going to make you happy. And so, can you give a little? Can you, can you just scale back and shift your position and maybe live with a little less? You know, not have such high expectations. Lower them a little bit or give an inch and just see what that gets you, Leo. It's better than nothing. So having an all or nothing attitude, that's not gonna work anymore, but flexibility will. So I hope you give it a try. Okay, what does it mean to a Virgo? Well, Virgo, this is a time when I think that you can be thrown off a little bit by irritating things that are happening in your everyday life. And, it, and so that's on one level. On a higher level, which would concern your more personal aims and goals, I think you're doing great. And that is because Venus and Uranus and Taurus are trining your sun, and so are the moon, Saturn, and Pluto in Capricorn. So your career could be going great, and your long-term plans could be going great, and the way you handle your investments it could be quite satisfactory for you right now. Okay, you could be happy with that. But the sun and Mercury in Gemini, and Mercury is your own ruler, are squaring your sun sign. Jupiter in Sagittarius is squaring your sun sign, and it is retrograde or a little weaker. And Neptune in Pisces is opposing your sun sign. There are actually four planets in mutable signs, all in a harsh T-cross, um, challenging your sun sign right now, Virgo. And that's why I think in your everyday life, there's just sort of one thing after another coming at you. But I just hope that you sort of dial back a little bit and decide that things don't have to be perfect at least just for one week. Try not to have such high expectations of others. Just because you're always aiming for perfection, don't be so disappointed in others if they're not. Maybe what's important to you isn't quite as important to them, and that's why they don't try to, to go that extra mile. So try to give people the benefit of the doubt right now, if you can, Virgo. And you know, not everyone is quite as logical and clear thinking as you are. And so I wish that you could sort of shift your position in your judgment of people and sort of um, let a few things go right now. If you just try it for a week, it might make you and some other people a little happier. And it could uh, lower the stress in your life, which is good for you. Okay, what does it mean to a Libra? Well, Libra. This is a time when I think that you, you two need to be very, very careful, uh, just like Aries has to, because Mars in Cancer, which could indicate somebody blowing up right now and being very angry or overreacting, is squaring your sun sign, and the moon, Saturn, and Pluto in Capricorn are also squaring your sun sign. So that's four planets and cardinal signs that are all challenging your sign and the sign of Aries. And so that certainly means, Libra, that you can't please everybody. But the good news is that Sun and Mercury that are conjuncting each other in Gemini are actually trining your Sun sign. They're supporting your Sun sign. That means that there are other people that can be coming to you now and suggesting small changes. And that's because they are willing to shift their position or their attitude a little bit about things. And I hope you pick up on that, Libra, and go along with them. You have nothing to lose because otherwise you're going to be spending your energy fighting forces that are somewhat beyond your control. And if I were you, I would try to avoid that, Libra. It, you're not going to win right now. And in fact, you could even lose some money if you get in a fight with somebody. So instead, stick to younger people or people that are very agreeable to some sort of little change because that could make you happy too. And uh, so, so you don't agree on everything. But if you could find some little common way to agree on things, I think that that could really 
ease the tension and make everyone happier. Okay, what does it mean to a Scorpio? Well, Scorpio, yours is a fixed sign, and there aren't any planets in any of the fixed signs except Venus and Uranus in Taurus, which are opposing your sun sign. And that means, Scorpio, that I think that there is something that you really have your eye on that you're, or it's your heart's desire and you cannot afford it. It's because you don't have enough money for it or because it's too high priced. And so is it possible, even though yours is a fixed sign and fixed signs don't like to budge, is it possible, Scorpio, that you could lower your sights a little bit and, and sort of get them down to uh, something you can afford and consider that instead? because everybody can make a, a shift in their position right now. The timing is excellent for that. It's just that you can't, you, you can't, you can't push too much right now, Scorpio, because you'll get pushed back. And since yours is a financial sign, you tend to think of winning and losing in terms of money. Taurus thinks the same way. And so, you know, if, if you can't afford something, Quit thinking about it and instead lower your sights a little bit or adjust your thinking in one way or another if you can or just put something off for a while instead of dwelling on it. Because yes, yours is a very disciplined sign, but it's better to be disciplined about a goal you can reach than be disciplined about a goal that's way beyond your reach. And so this is a time when you just don't have enough money, Scorpio, and besides you should be hanging on to it instead. All right, what does it mean to a Sagittarian? Well, Sagittarius, this is a time when you have to sort of watch where you walk. And the reason why is that the Sun and Mercury in Gemini are opposing Jupiter in your own sign. And Jupiter is a little weaker because it's retrograde. And so this is when it would be better if you could sort of adjust your position or your attitude a little bit, or what I think you really need to do, even though there are no other planets in the fire signs, is you need to re-examine your ideas about an educational policy or about some judicial findings, because your sign rules the courts and it does rule higher education and religion and philosophy as well. And there's something that you've got to rethink or look at, in, um, look at in a way that is more personal to you. And so this is a, sort of a good time for you just to shift your position inside of yourself, sort of quietly, Sagittarius, and ask yourself if you're still true to the way you used to think and compare it to how you feel today. At least you could do that. And if you see some differences, maybe you could make some sort of adjustment. Okay, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Well, Capricorn, you certainly could have your mind on money and there could be some more money coming your way, Capricorn, because uh, Venus and Uranus in Taurus are both trining your sun where you have Saturn, Pluto, and the moon today. And so it can be that somebody could be making you an, of some financial offer or it can be that there is some additional work that somebody wants you to do and they're quite willing to pay you for it. That would be nice. Or it could be that you're taking a little profit from an investment of yours. And so that's good too. It's just that, so, so I don't think money's your problem, Capricorn. But what I do think is your problem is that there can be danger around you. Physical danger, you need to watch out for that. You need to watch out for somebody who can lose it and that means that they can overreact in their emotions. They can even be dangerous, and uh, you, you could even be subject to something that's coming at you too quickly. But it could be somebody who's just lost control of their emotions because Mars is in the sign of emotions, Cancer, and it is opposing Saturn, Pluto, and the moon in your sign. And so you could be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And that is why you need to really stay away from anybody who's sort of sounding off right now. And if you are shifting positions, try to shift your regard for your own safety. Try to raise that up a little bit and pay attention to that right now, Capricorn, 
because I don't think you really are safe. There's danger that's a little too close to you. It could be in your neighborhood or, or in some environment that you are around a lot. I could be a person that is quite capable of losing it and they might do it around you and you would be the one that would suffer for it, so be careful. Okay, what does it mean to an Aquarian? Well, Aquarius, that sun and Mercury in Gemini are trining your sun, which is good. That means somebody can be coming to you with ideas that maybe don't agree with your ideas, but they're not exactly bad ideas either. And since yours is a fixed sign, if you could maybe go along with their suggestions in a way that allows you to change your position at least a little bit, and help, and that will help you negotiate something. Remember, Gemini rules flexibility. You probably would need to negotiate a financial problem, but you may be able to do that, and you may be able to get better terms with a financial problem right now, because Venus and Uranus and Taurus are squaring your sun, but there aren't any other planets in fixed signs. So now is a good time to sort of make a deal if you can. Okay, what does it mean to a Pisces? Well, Pisces, this is a time when you can certainly want to perhaps expose what's been going on behind the scenes. And it could involve something that involves a move or a family member or a real estate deal. And you could be uh, needing to shift your position or your attitude a little bit. For instance, what if you had to do something that involved fixing up your home? And that, that might involve some hard work. Don't worry, Pisces. You're going to have plenty of energy with Mars and Cancer training your sun sign, so you could do that extra work if you had to. I didn't say you'd like it, but you could do it. However, what you could like instead is that if you just shifted your attitude a little bit and began to count your blessings a little bit more, not what's going wrong in your life, but what has been going right in your life, and try to treasure that a little bit more, and uh, have a new attitude about that. And, and that way you could even try to do your best and work a little harder on that. And that can make you proud of yourself and that would be good too. All right, thanks so much for tuning in. Remember you can see the show, read our blog and hear our podcast on our website, starborninstitute.org. Bye.